crisp, frosty mornings warn us that winter is approaching. We know we need to further insulate the cabin for winter, but right now, Corey and I both just need a slow weekend. We plan to work on small projects and to spend some time outside in the beauty that is autumn. It has been a few weeks since I visited the cabin. I'll be honest, I almost teared up when I saw how lovely the forest here is in fall. I was nervous I had missed the leaves entirely, but it's actually the perfect time between leaves falling and leaves being on trees when the ground is covered and simultaneously the trees are covered. Put it on just like an eating dress. Ray to the right, sway to the left. In the morning, everything is fair. We're back. And made my way back home. Probably not supposed to make fire out at the front door, huh? <laughs> We're back at the cabin. Finally, I get to come back. It feels like forever since I've been here. The past couple times Corey came to the cabin, I was away. <laughs> so it feels nice to be back and the leaves are gorgeous. A lot of the leaves have already fallen on the ground, but not all of them, especially around the cabin. The yellow vibrant leaves are still here. So that's nice, it's beautiful. We brought two new rocking chairs for the cabin. Well, new to us, they're not new new. They're very pretty, I think they're gorgeous. And on the way from the yard where we parked the vehicle out to here, we stopped with the four-wheeler and had to like re-strap them down because they were <laughs> rocking on the trailer. But they're out here now. And so I'm excited to sit in the rocking chairs by the fire. Hopefully we'll keep the fire going. <laughs> it's always a struggle. To catch fire but yeah hopefully we'll stay warm it's cold today also we don't have a huge plan of all of the things we need to get done this weekend um, we're only gonna be here one night and we want to enjoy it before it's winter so we're kind of just gonna relax we might go for a four-wheeler ride but we'll still get some stuff done we're gonna probably work on the electrical a little bit more uh, fasten the loft floor down uh, maybe work on some insulation a little bit, keep it, get it a little warmer. Um, Did you put the reflectics under the cabin? Nope. Okay, maybe that. Yeah, this is this is the goal of the cabin right here. We're doing it. <laughs> Sit in some rocking chairs and. Yeah, we don't have to finish it. This is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Did you notice the insulation up there? Oh my gosh, I didn't. The molder bits might not be here till the end of the year. Lead times, supply chain issues. These two chairs are probably going to go here and here with maybe a little table in between. We're planning on having a futon right here. 
So we think with the rocking chairs that we can pull up next to the fire or push back into the living room and a futon here. We're going to have a little kitchen counter space as well. Uh, we think it's going to be just a nice little living area. I'm, I just want it to be done already. <laughs> But at the same time, it's fun working on it, so I don't want it to go too fast because I know I'll miss coming here and kind of making our dreams and visions come to life as well. But it's amazing, like seeing the lights that Corey wanted put into the beams and it looks so nice. It, it I can't believe how nice it is. And then the view from our picture window with the fall colors outside right now it's incredible. Corey and I are gonna go for a four-wheeler ride and enjoy the outside while it's still nice out and light out. The rain has been off and on so we're kind of trying to go now before the rain comes back. The leaves are still dripping water from the rain. Ready to go for a four-wheeler ride? Yep. Ready, Colt? Where should we go? Left. <laughs> wow, look how bright yellow that is. We can go down here. Baby maple trees, <laughs> they're everywhere. How do you know it's chaga? Just looks like it's burnt. It's really a fungus or something. You can eat it? Yes. You see how brown that is? Yeah. That's what you want to grind up and put in your tea. Okay. Kind of a dirty piece, but it'll work. It feels magical right now. It's so pretty. The leaves are incredible. <laughs> How are we gonna set this? Is there like a uh, when we put box. paneling on, all you have to do is drill a hole and then put that nuts. So it's just gonna be like the little Yeah, it's just gonna be a little dot on the wall. That's but it's just so pretty with the leaves out that window. That's pretty cool. Everywhere you look, it's beautiful. You did an amazing job with the lights and the beams. We're gonna have some butternut squash soup. It's just from a box. You're wiring? Trying to. What are you doing up there? Just putting an outlet box in. Mm-hmm. It still works. 
Thanks to Get Out Gear for sending me this down blanket. I'm gonna lay down on the bed for a little while and do some reading. It's nice to have just a blanket to use that isn't the comforter. And this blanket's fun because it actually like buttons together so you can wear it. I've been up here like every weekend. Yeah, we could have Don and Carla's wedding. Yeah, yeah it's kind of loud. It's not bad though. Just securing the boards so we don't fall through the floor. That's probably good. So, Corey is up in the loft right now. Um, securing the floor up there, board by board. <laughs> it's a little bit loud, but it's going to be super nice to have that done. We have this mattress down here that will go up there. <sighs> so it'll be nice just to be able to kind of put that up there and get it off of the floor down here. the rain. Good morning. How did you sleep, Corey? Oh, in every two hours I slept pretty good. <laughs> Fire only lasts about two hours and then you gotta restoke it, so. Yeah, the wood we we're using right now burns pretty quickly, so we're gonna try and use wood that burns longer. But that's okay. I slept fine. <laughs> I woke up I think like once maybe. Maybe twice, but in the middle of the night, there were actually a couple times. <laughs> but in the middle of the night, there were actually a couple times where we could hear the coyotes. So I grabbed my camera and I went outside to try and see if I could hear them. But they were much closer than I thought. And when I went outside, they could see me and they started yipping and it kind of scared me. And then it messed up the audio, but I still might have <laughs> some audio I can put in here from that. You scare me. We're about to make some eggs. <laughs> yeah, we got the wiring sort of complete so we can use the outlets now. The generator's going. We got the phones charging. Uh, we did buy a little battery tender. I'm gonna hook that up to the battery. I'm guessing the the lights don't draw very much power so it lasts a long time. But since we got the generator going, we might as well put a little charge to the battery. Yeah. So Corey got all the outlets working. Most of the outlets. We ran out of outlets. Yeah, most of them. So. <laughs> Straight from the bottle. We do have coffee cups now. actually get our eggs from um, a place that just has actually, my dad my dad has chickens so that's where we get our eggs from <laughs> so they're fresh eggs oh hi
We're putting in the wall between the bathroom and the closet. Right now we have the bathroom in the closet, but eventually this will go over there. We're putting up this wall so we can start mounting our uh, like utility type stuff on a wall. We're we now have a wall separating our bathroom from our closet. But we still have the bathroom in the closet. Little guy. kind of a bummer but it's already time to leave I'm so happy that we got to spend the time we did here this weekend and I'm so stoked about our new rocking chairs and that we have them here to sit in now we'll be back soon enough uh, to be able to spend more time here we've got all our stuff ready to load up and then we're out of here Yeah.